Roger Funk and Kevin Brenner. Brenner. And we're here just to start the tape rolling here. So guys, how's things going? We're going good. I'm uh, looking forward to a good track tonight and uh, hopefully it'll stay heavy again. Um, I, I missed the race last night. I had to work, but I heard it was a good one. Uh, what was your opinion? The track stayed really tacky and was really fast. It was a little rough in places, but we, we did alright. Got second in heat and ended up uh, sixth or seventh in the feature. So had a good night. I heard the turnout was really fantastic. Uh, how was the competition? We had a lot, of, a lot of cars running up front and did really well. Well, we had 32 cars last night and I hope we're going to have uh, more than that did the, did the different competition add or change anything to your normal routine? No, it was, uh, well, hopefully none of the uh, guys that come in from out of state look at this, but we had uh, a lot of the guys come in from, two guys come in from Colorado, they both ended up on their lid and then uh, they feature and hopefully, uh, hopefully Okay, <laughs> guys, uh, thanks for turning my tape out. I appreciate it. <laughs> okay, I'm down here in uh, Washington with the two night. What's this called again? Midget Madness Mid in the Midwest. Right, night two. I missed night, night one, but Jerry is here to give us an update on the racing program. We had quite a program. Uh, last night we had 32 of the Outlaw 600s here. We had 15 of the MSLs, and I think we had 12 or 13 trucks. We had quite a program. Uh, in fact, our B main in the 600s had 16 cars in it, just great. I think this is one of the best turnouts we've ever had for Jay Husker races over the 20, the 20 some years of Jay Husker. So I think it's just uh, wonderful, great turnout of cars, people in the crowd, awesome track for racing. So it's a good night. We have four more races for the season left after, I guess, tonight's, so three after tonight. I, d I did hear that uh, last night there was a lot of uh, extravehicular. Wrecking, wrecking. I don't know how many went upside down last night. Is at least maybe five or six that took five took tumbles last night. I guess so. It, it was something else. Was it just an aggressive night, kind of because of a special occasion or just out of town people or? Well, a couple. Of, yeah, we had some out of town visitors. They both went upside down. People came from Colorado and they were upside down, and and then they caused another one. And I think it's just one of those nights. And the track was fast, real real sticky. And so the cars can go faster, and that happens sometimes. All right, I'm down here with Dave Stanick, who I understand last night had a pretty wicked wreck. Dave, what happened? Oh, we had a had a little hole there in the front straightaway, and I was running the cushion, and had one of the Hoffman boys. We were running side by side, and he got the hole there. And about the time he got the hole, he come up into me, and next thing I know, I'm seeing dirt. She cartwheeled, I heard. I cartwheeled it. I got all four wheels sideways. We didn't hit, hurt the wing or nothing. Your car overall is pretty good, Steve. Yeah, tonight. we got her all back together this morning. And no injury? No injury. Okay, I, I don't have a copy of that for you, but I'm going to try to get some of that. If I don't get it, it'll be on the site eventually anyway. Yeah. But uh, you're, you feeling okay for tonight? Good to go. So how are you feeling about the race tonight? Well, yeah, we'll see how the track is. I mean, you know, you're always going to have them wrecks, so it really doesn't bother me. It, it was your first one, right? First wreck of the year. Did it shake you up? A little bit, but not too bad. I mean, my wife wanted to know, you know, if it's going to be okay for a night. I said, yeah, no, no problem, you know. Settle down. Car is in good shape, so we'll see how the night goes. Great, great. I'm well, glad to see you're not injured, Dave. Yeah. Thanks a lot. So, Randy, how'd yeah. you survive that wreck last week? Oh, it was, it was, it was bad. It kind of pushed the side of the truck over, had to do some more reinforcement on it, and, and I was able to start the trophy dash, and I went four laps into it, and I lost all oil pressure. Uh, what it did is it broke the pickup tube off the oil pump. The light came on, so I shut her down. Luckily, I saved it, so I didn't get to finish the, you know, the feature. From the looks of the tape, you didn't even see it coming, did you? No. No. In fact, when I told, after the race, I, uh, I told Garrett, I said, we need to hurry up and load up and get home because my neck was starting to hurt and I started feeling a pretty good headache coming on. I said, we want to get home, we better go now. So, but, you know, I it, he just got in there a little too hard and got into me. I mean, I, no harm, no fall. So. Well, from what I've seen, you've been in two of the biggest wrecks I've seen so far this year. I've seen. Oh, oh yeah? <laughs> Miss, me me Mr. Nutter, Nutter over there? Yeah. You flipped him on his side? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's when he got a little bit yeah. sideways and I had to run on him. It's just, that's all all I could do. And next thing I know, he's up on his side. So, so you're not the terror of the track, are you? I hope not. I mean, I, I seem to, I, I start in the back and always have to work my way up to the front. It seems like I come through there pretty clean, so. Okay, well, thanks a lot. Hi, I am with. 
Dylan Cadis. Okay. State your name, what's what? Dylan Cadis. Dylan Cadis. Dylan, where are you from? Topeka. Topeka? Mm -hmm. And is this your vehicle behind me here? This is. Is this your first time running um, with Jay Huskers here? Or? I've raced with the Jay, Hunker, Jay Huskers twice this season, but this is my first time here in Washington with them. Um, so, tell me about your car here. Um, we run the uh, 01 Yamaha R6. This is uh, an American chassis. We've got to speak up to the camera here. What did you say it was? It's an uh, American chassis. Okay. We run a Yamaha 01 R6. How long have you been into racing? I think this is my ninth season. That's only my third season out of Micros. Okay, how old are you? I'm 15. So you started when you were, my, my math is good, 13? I started when I was six. <laughs> yeah. What were you driving when you were six? Uh, have you ever heard of quarter midgets? No. They're, they're about like a, uh, a smaller version of these, but they have a uh, like a go-kart motor in them. They okay. got a cage around them and everything. So where do you normally race at? Sweet Springs. Kansas, right. Um, so how's your career going? Uh, last year, I mean, we had an all right season last year. Ended up third in points down in Sweet Springs. This year, we're about the same, but we've got a couple wins underneath our belt. One coming here with the Jay Huskers and Beloit at the start of the year. But we're having an all right season. Okay, so uh, I need to know this question. What is your um, strategy for racing? What, 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 what makes you win? Uh, patience. You gotta be patient. Just work your way to the front, stay out of trouble. You're not a hot dogger? No, I like to take it easy off the start, let people wreck in front of me, and then get after it at the end. Well, great, well, thank you a lot. Hi, I am here with... Jim Clipper, the owner of Clipper Cycles. And I hear you're quite the motor maker. Uh, I've done one or two of them. <laughs> What's your background in uh, automotive or building? The micro business. Uh, we've been doing this for probably about, about nine years now, nine to ten years. Uh, we've done an awful lot of the micro building restricted class racing. Um, uh, my son now, we've, we've transferred out of the, the micros, we're doing the 360s right now and starting to get a kind of a little bit of a handle with that as well too. So, um, as far as motors go, we've, we've got to work with a lot of top guys uh, through, the, through the micro world. We've had Danny Lasowski in our car, Chad Bold, Billy Bolt's son, uh, Billy Alley, um, God the name goes on, Phil Durst's son, uh, Ryan. Uh, it just, you know, pretty much anyone around the Midwest. I'm working now with uh, Austin McCarl, uh, Terry McCarl's son right now. So that's what we're down here with uh, this weekend, see if we can get something going with him. So where are you from originally? Uh, we're from Elkhorn, Nebraska. My shop's in Omaha, Nebraska. Okay, and uh, were you here last night? No, I wasn't. We, we raced uh, Waverly last night. Okay, so what, what are you thinking about tonight's race? Uh, I'm hoping things go well. I mean, this could be a first time for both my drivers here. I'm here with Allie Woods and her, uh, uh, her car, and uh, both drivers are new to this track, so I'm hoping they can catch on to it real quick and see what they can do with it. Great, thanks a lot. Thank you. I'm here with Lowell. I have no idea what his last name is, Lowell. Toman. And you do the announcing, right? Yeah, part of the time, yes. And how long, oh, who's the other, who's the other Well, fellow? Lauren Swenson, and Lauren's actually been Jay Husker announcer for several years, and he talked me about two years ago into coming along with him and filling in, and now we've got another guy, Gary Carnes, that's going to be helping us when we're busy. So what's your background in announcing? Well, very little. <laughs> I, Lord, you know, I mean, he's the voice of the Panthers down there at Concordia, and he's done basketball, football games for years. And I'm just a good friend of his with, I guess, a lot of, you know, bull, and so he thought I'd be all right to do this too. Well, you got the voice for it, that's for sure. Well, I, you know, I don't know about the voice, but I do have a good time. I enjoy watching the races and got to know almost all the racers. They're all good people, we have a good time, so I enjoy it. What is your racing background, anything? Not really, no. I just enjoy watching these guys. I've you know, been around for several years, watching them at Concordia, different people, and you know, I've always liked cars, and so it's a lot of fun to come and watch these. And it's a little different than what I'm used to, but you know, I, so, I so you had apparently to learn, picked it up. You had to learn the racing game, too, to, to oh, announce a track. Sure, you know, that's why you follow Lauren around, you know. He, he's got all the gift of the gab. <laughs> okay, you did a very good job yourself, Lowell. Thanks a lot. Well, thank you. Okay.